Hey, so it's been a few months since we last played Majesty, but I did leave myself a bunch of notes in a text file. Uh, so I think I'm more or less caught up in what's going on, but if I forgot something that I should know, feel free to just backseat and tell me. Um, I believe that I can continue where I left off by hitting play game and just putting the same name in. Okay, it looks like missions are showing as completed, so that's fine. The note I left myself was to, we've done all the beginner missions south of the mountain range, pick an advanced mission next because expert is harder. So I'm gonna try to pick one and then I guess I'll just look around. Maybe I can pause the game for a second and try to figure out what I'm doing. Elven treachery is probably fine, I assume. Majesty, it grieves me to be the bearer of such intolerable news. An elvish miscreant has just left the castle. He came to deliver the message that his disreputable brethren have taken your son hostage. Apparently, they see only the size of your treasury, not the depth of your skilled leadership. These foul opportunists demand you pay a ransom, or they say you'll never again see your son alive. How shall we deal with this elvish impudence, my liege? Good question. Make 50,000 gold in 30 days to pay the ransom, or defeat the elves, all enemy heroes and buildings, before that time. Elves can't join your city in this quest. I do like the way the goals are laid out in this one, where each map has some kind of like interesting, unique feature. Um, I think I'll probably try to go for the gold one, maybe? Alright, so let me remind myself how this works really quick. Don't think I have a slowdown button in this one, so I have to pause if I want to think for a second. Um, all right, so my notes are to click the square in the top left for a zoomed out view. Double click a space on the map to place an exploration flag. I have to set a bounty on flags of at least 100 gold. It's a way to kind of get the AI to do sort of what I want them to do, more or less. And I can have them explore or I can set an attack bounty. Uh, I want to make a palace if I don't start with one. We want to make markets as quickly as possible to make money. We want to rush research on markets and blacksmiths. We need rangers to explore the map, rogues to loot things, warriors to defend the castle. And some maps we have wizard towers that we can connect to a wizard's guild to cast spells like foresight and lightning storm, things to kill enemies. So that all said, let's see if we can figure this out here. Don't press the S button. <laughs> Uh, how about, let's see, is this the square? That's the one I was thinking of. Start with a marketplace. Build. Probably need rangers so that they can start exploring. And I don't remember, there is a benefit for stacking marketplaces, right? Like having more than one of the same building. In fact, I probably want to do that on purpose. Since money seems to be the one of the objectives on this map. Um, Research, healing potions. Your Highness, if our kingdom is to prosper, it needs more heroes. Working on it. Sovereign, your marketplace now serves you better. That was quick. I'll upgrade them once they finish the research. Your Majesty, our new I building know. is complete. Create a ranger. Somewhere, each of the buildings has a limited number of units it can generate, if I recall correctly. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. At level two. Research, same thing. Elves are already attacking us. Rude. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. Sovereign. Your marketplace now serves you better. In that case, I probably want a warrior's no, guild. No, no fun at all. Try to defend from the evil attacking elves. What a bunch of dicks. Tax collector. 
I love that voice line. Sovereign, your market base now Vega. serves you better. Sovereign, your market base now serves you better. Keep making rangers. Now, I think one of the benefits of inns is it gives your heroes a place to stay. Heroes may rest, regain health, take refuge from monsters, place them to visit when they have nothing else to do. Build one of those is to build it. Probably want to get a rogue skill too. If I recall correctly, trading posts are only interesting on certain kinds of maps. I probably want to make another ranger's guild on the edge because I well I think I can set bounties to explore specific locations. Yeah, by doing this. And doing this isn't all bad because they spend the money from their bounty on upgrades most of the time. Ah, cute. So I don't think I have nothing to do to an, an inn once I've built it. So we're not going to stress about that too much right now. Teleportation amulets, I recall, are pretty useful. Definitely want to get some warriors right away. Sovereign! Your marketplace now serves you better. Free marketplace right away. More warriors would be nice. Your marketplace now serves you better. I can destroy that, right? Okay. Cool. They're still doing a decent job of exploring on their own, it looks like. Okay. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Refreshing. Build an asshole. Elves, jeez. Why they gotta be like that, you know? Guild is full. I join okay. the wild spirits. Should we look at a new ranger? He's the one that just died. We I joined the wild spirits. The service. My service ends. These elves really suck. Jeez. I think I have a lot that I can do with them here at the beginning. Your Highness, the palace renovations are finished. Palace renovations are finished, which sometimes leads to new buildings, lots of new buildings. Okay, but we need money because I've just burned through everything I started with. I probably should get a blacksmith when I can. I should have done that earlier so that the Characters can start upgrading their shit. The wild spirits. Leave my gold alone. How dare you heal yourself? Alright, we'll do a blacksmith first and then I'll try to recruit some more people here. I see that. <laughs> My service ends. God, how many freaking asshole elves are there on this map? No fun. Get him, friendly ranger. Have <laughs> no fun at all. They say.
I honestly don't know if this is going well or terribly at the moment. It's probably fine. I could always try to get the win just by killing the enemy elves. Majesty, the local my blacksmith offers ends. new services. I'm gonna cancel the. Bounty on that one guy so that my units aren't heading out there to fight them constantly. Keep getting the upgrades here would be nice. Sir Palador Strongwill. Hit a level two blacksmith. You might want to get one of these spell casting guilds. The one I'm most familiar with is the Wizards Guild, which lets me cast some pretty strong stuff, but I have the chain towers to do it. So maybe I'll end up going for um, killing them instead of doing it with money. Let's see, my current rate of money generation isn't like completely unacceptably terrible. Need 12 heroes to get another palace upgrade. My service ends. I join the wild. I don't have any way to make a building more likely to be prioritized for repairs, right? At least I don't think so. Elder, extreme assholes, jeez. Why are y'all like this? Spending on an elf raids is gonna drain my coffers more than anything else, I feel like. Bounty hunting, good. That's what we want them to do here. Your Majesty, the royal treasury is nearly empty. Now, if an enemy kills a tax collector, do they loot the money? Is that how that works? Dude, you guys need to not go over this way. I guess it's my fault for making a... Remove reward attack flag, yes. Okay to not get my money back, that's fine. Some statues over here and other things. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. I join the wild spirits. My poor rangers. My service ends. Okay, now I can research more shit. Let's go. Don't know if it's worth trying to make another marketplace. I forgot to do that one. It's fine. The main thing is maxing it out. Seems to be more important. Majesty, the local blacksmith offers new services. Three weapons. Sovereign, your marketplace now serves you better. Keep murdering elves, guys. I know you can do it. My service Majesty, ends. A local blacksmith offers new services. Refreshing. Victory is not in the cards. 
The robes are reasonably cheap. There we go. Houses are on fire. God. I join the wild spirit. Save again just in case. My god, there's so many of these assholes. So you've already killed most of my warriors, it looks like. Needs to be repaired first. Okay. Yeah, I honestly don't know the best way to deal with these guys. I don't know if I just aggro them because I explored too close to them earlier. Just maybe possible. I join the wild spirits. I think the enemy computer maybe gains uh, XP over time. I hope not. In the name of the sovereign. Victory is not in the cards. Million twinkle eyes. Yeah, fix the blacksmith. If I get a little bit more stuff, this will be a little bit more possible. If y'all want tribute, you shouldn't attack us so much. These elves, man. Tell you what. Some people's elves. There goes another palace guard. So guard house is... Gets me extra guards. Okay, I probably need that now that I think about it. Dwarves, you say? Probably because of the blacksmith upgrade, I assume. Dwarven settlements is auto fires ballista bolts at nearby enemies. Allows additional ballista towers to be built. Sounds reasonable. Heroes. Majesty, the local blacksmith offers new services. Your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. Good. Create the guard to a more powerful veteran. It would be nice to leave these, these guys to leave me alone. Should have done this a long time ago, so if I fail this mission, I'll start over and do guard houses sooner. I think that's probably the way to go. Right. Blacksmith has everything it can possibly have. Veteran guards, please. Do some more of these, I guess. Your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. Still working on the Dwarven settlements. Guardhouse is maxed out. Veteran city guard. Soldiers, some more armor, I guess. Still waiting on the dwarven settlements. Sorry, Jemmy of the Shadows. Five of twelve, so probably need more. Hero buildings. Statue raises the loyalty of heroes in your kingdom. Let's 
try building the wizard's guild, I guess. I'll have to do towers after that. Oh yeah, this one just builds on its own. That's right, so I don't need peasants for it. So that's good. I think I don't get access to towers until after it finishes building, which makes sense. Wizard. Now, does that mean I now get wizard towers from this list? I think so. Yes. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Your Majesty, I don't remember how to calculate the. I guess it would show me the range. It won't let me build it unless it's already in range. Well, that wizard didn't last very long. Thanks. Visibility Lightning Bolt, Lightning Storm. Fires of Wizard Guild level 3. Yeah, let's just start upgrading it. Maybe I can fuck up their town with spells here. Thanks, peasants. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Your Majesty, 14 heroes a built here. I <laughs> God damn. Auto fires ballista bolts at enemies, and so it does. Fantastic. You don't get these people to leave me alone a bit. I got us lightning bolt and anti magic. We want lightning storm, which is extremely expensive, but it does a shitload of damage. Probably need to build more. Wizard Towers. Chain these here. Now, enchanting the tower extends the range of your spells. Ah, and also it turns them into turrets, which sounds great, actually. Once I know I already have units nearby. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Let's try building one more of these here. I think I've got most other buildings built right now. Oh, we do want to get the level 3 wizard tower, right. This does get repaired manually. to repair it. Gotcha. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. 
I think I kind of wasted the lightning storm, but that's okay. Getting more characters here. Still don't have enough heroes, really. I might build another tower back there, let's see. I don't think the towers are getting more expensive, which is nice. just happens after a certain amount of stuff gets added, that's right. Get some more recruits back here if possible. I join the wild spirits. This might be enough to get the computer to leave me alone if I'm just like constantly putting wizard tower pressure on them over here. So I might be able to try to do a little bit more fundraising. In their asses, it's great. This one dwarf is really just kicking ass over here, too. Most of the other ones don't really seem to want to help. I thought this a Chad Stoutpole. Chab. Slowly going down here. Leave my gold alone. Defeat the elves, all enemy heroes and buildings before that time. I might try to do that one, we'll see. Guild full. It's a good sign. Guild full. Guild not yet full. See if I can make another marketplace here. Fair. We'll wait for them to fully build it. Never explored past there. If I call correctly, the Objective is set, but the actual map layout is randomized. I There's not necessarily the a right way to do spirits. each level. Which I actually kind of appreciate. That tells me that every map is solvable with a similar strategy that I'm not going to have to like deal with random bullshit, you know.
Are there other elves somewhere? Or is that the I entire elf city? The wild spirits. Let me add a note for my future self. Click. Uh, level name at top to Your review objectives. New building complete. Sweet. Sovereign, your marketplace now serves you better. Go ahead and get get money, get paid. Rogues must have died recently. Okay, there are definitely other rogues coming from somewhere. Robin, your marketplace now serves you better. Sure. Let me make a save really quick. Just in case I struggle to find this. Lost a dwarf somewhere around there. Okay, we can get a level 3 palace now once we have enough living characters. Once the money is up. My rogues just keep dying, jeez. Look at this dwarf working his way out here. Appreciate it, buddy. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. No fun. I Palace upgrades, research protection rings. This guy's still exploring, looking for the. Elf base. Four level seven rangers in a die. That's too bad. He tried. Okay, this looks promising. Level three palace. So what all does that get us? Ballista Towers. Leave my gold alone. I think I may have gotten that from dwarves, actually. I don't know if that's actually new. I think the Royal Gardens are new. Your Majesty, the Royal Treasury is nearly empty. It's not doing that bad. Bitch or bitchin'. Oh, is this like a, a rat man? Your Majesty, a new building is complete. I do think this is an enemy marketplace being attacked by a rat man, but not 100% sure. I think it's based on color. You show him, rat man. Don't do that, no. Do not attack my own building. I don't think I realized before that you're able to attack your own buildings like that. Statues seem pretty good. Since they're very cheap. You all exploring up here now? You gonna fight that rat man? Okay, here is more stuff. Sure. Let 
me see if I can extend my wizard towers up there, because those were really helpful last time. So that's B for building. Wizard tower. See if I can make a chain up there and just ruin their day, you know? That would be great. Well, part of the problem is I can't build in a fog area, right? Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Oh, that's nice. I think it's right at the limit of my building distance. Again, they're the cheap. Let's keep recruiting the max guys here. Attack my building, building. The day is lost, Majesty, but there's always tomorrow. Wait, I thought it was 50 days. Oops. <laughs> All right, well, I calculated everything based on having 50 days. Let me try loading my most recent save and stopping spending. We need to go back one more step after this, we'll see. Ah. Might not be possible at the 25 day mark, we'll have to see. I might have to go back to the 11 day mark and just rush the other settlement more quickly. Oh, extra fairgrounds and temples, an extra peasant, an extra palace guard, an extra tax collector. I don't know if that results in more net money or what. Extra tax collector might be able to make the difference. This is probably a good safe file for me to explore the edge cases of how things work here. Um, so I'll try to do that once I inevitably fail here. Oh yeah, there's there's way too many elves I think to try to win this map through combat. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. Tax collecting. It might be worth upgrading this just to get the level three marketplace. Sovereign, 
Your marketplace now serves you better. I don't know that extort's ever useful except when you're coming up right on a deadline. Let's just see. I don't think I'm going to generate enough money. I think I was overspending anyway, but even then. Collector number 29. Oh god, there's a troll here. Kill the troll, please. ain't happening. Money's coming in, but nowhere near fast enough, so... It's not due to tax collectors. Storting wouldn't cut it either. Alright. I'm gonna try going back another save. Probably should save more regularly. The royal treasury is nearly empty. I feel like I should still take that out. I could probably just start making more, like, defensive areas. Though I wonder if I immediately assign, maybe I can win on my other save if I just go hard on trying to take them all out. I just don't know how many of them there are. Let me give it a shot here. So I know there's some assholes all the way up here, right? I wish I were like a few days behind this date. As many of these as I can. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. I think there's just two groups in there. I think that these can move forward on their own via far seeing. That's cool. Start building another one ASAP. We'll have to offer a really big bounty, I think, for it to be possible. I'll certainly give it a try. Let's make sure we've got max heroes so that once we turn up the rewards that they can get out there and wreck face real quick. Good, good. Refreshing. Leave my gold. Oh, yeah. 
no fun at all. Get him, team. Hey, Yon, how you doing? Building up there if we can. I'm gonna try anyway. Problem's gonna be can we kill all the heroes? We don't necessarily know where all of them are, you know? No fun at all. No fun at all. Get him, guys. Need to see what's up there. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Don't think there's more elves off to the side here. Do not include rats, so rat men. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Kill the heroes. Oh, don't tell me there's a last group up here. I think there are. I think it's already too late then. Yeah, so at least I, I guess I know where all of them are. There's one in the top left corner, there's one here, and there's one down here. So if I go back to day 11, it might be possible. I'll give it a try. Fortunately, I gotta build a bunch of shit though. Nice, Johan. People's elves, man, I tell you. Very rude. I don't think I actually need any of the spell. Maybe supercharge. Nice if I could choose from multiple auto saves along that period. Don't think I can though. It's okay. Refreshing. Teleport home. Band on the seeker, you're gonna die. Can't solo that many dudes. Join the wild spirits. Your Majesty, a new I building is complete. Arrows for sure. Uh, the Wizard's Guild itself is expensive. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. Majesty, Your Highness, your we've improved the guardhouse. Your Highness, the dwarves are offering to move into our domain. Orbs offering to move in was nice last time too. Because so we had a little ballista tower to protect against the elves coming from the west. Who were annoying jerkwads last time. No 
This doesn't count as a tower itself, I don't think. We want a tower first to start shooting these jerks. As soon as the tax collectors bring it over here. There we go. Corbin settlements. Let's go here. Fucking ratmen. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Oh, do I need to have the Royal Treasury is nearly empty. Don't think I realized that I needed this to be at least level two for the towers to be able to turrets, so I'll turn that up here in a second. Skeleton kind of came out of nowhere. Get him. There you go. Beat him up. We got our ballista, which is nice. Gotta save up for the wizard tower upgrade, though. Do you want to give them the upgraded weapons and armor, but we could start putting some pressure on these uh, elves, that would be really nice. I think I have to go all the way up to level three to get tower turrets. Sovereign, a building I don't. Upgraded. Okay, cool. I think there were a total of like four elf settlements on this map. That seems right. here. Didn't have to make quite as long of a tower chain that time. Have to make another one for 75 gold. Now they're attacking my tower. cast things on anything in the fog, unfortunately, even if it's in range. I see that. Re the Royal Treasury. Yeah, we gotta start recruiting new soldiers here soon. I mostly just wanted to start taking these guys out so they stop harassing me at my base.
I must have just gotten a big amount of loot or something because my cash stack went way up. The local blacksmith offers new services. Let's keep trying to go for more towers if we can. I like using towers as scouts. Pretty low on heroes at the moment. Right. Try to fill that up while I keep moving towers forward here. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Buildings, Wizard's Tower. Leave my gold alone. Here, rogue, dwarf. Ranger. There's no fixing this. Sorry, Grove and Rock Pounder. You tried. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. My service ends. You can do it, guys. Stop dying. That's all you gotta do. Just not die anymore. There's no fixing this. Did they kill one of my towers? I think they did. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Leave my goal alone. Leave my goal. Build another tower. We want a couple of them here. My service ends. Victory is not of the There's kind. There's no bitch in this. Trying. We. That costs money whenever I go to cast Farsight. That's fine though, it should be fine anyway. I think most of the units that were there are dead now. Any heroes do we have? Neat. Pay you guys to destroy these buildings. More apparently. I think they get XP for destroying buildings, but I'm not sure. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Not super helpful. 
eight days to kill them all. I think there was one in the northwest corner, and okay, here's the other one that I was thinking of from earlier. You gotta assign some soldiers to deal with them later, I think. Hey, Ratman! Here to save the day. Building is complete. New building's complete, you say? Getting close. I think it's like up here somewhere. Now they're working on it. Good job, team. I'm very proud of all of you. I don't know why you're not going for that southwest area. Here we are. Beautiful. This might be possible. Assuming that's the last settlement, which I don't know for sure, but hope it is. Sure, I got plenty of units here. Even though they'd be expensive. Put one more tower up there. No, my service That's ends. Old. Leave my gold alone. Get some money back in order to get bounties set up. You guys finally gonna come claim these bounties after all this time? Good job. There's no bitch in this. And I lost no another dwarf. Okay, this is looking a lot more possible than my last attempt, so. Pretty sure this is the last settlement, but I guess I can't be 100% sure about that. Just be a matter of waiting for them to destroy everything now. Oh shit. Kill the rat man! I don't think I get his money when he dies. We need to start putting bounties on the rando elves. We're gonna have problems later on. I join the wild spirits. You tried, and then you join the wild spirits. I join the wild spirits. There goes another guy. I think we did get some money for killing an ad, though, so that's nice. I think I need humans to destroy buildings. I don't think Lightning Storm can break down buildings, unfortunately. Any heroes are we sitting on? Six. Need more heroes, just so more of them can contribute to the bounties, I think. 
And we're getting harassed by monsters a lot right now. I join the wild spirits. You guys, I really need you to come after these buildings. I know you've damaged them a little bit, but... I might lose this one just due to the computer not wanting to tick up me up on any of my bounties and start I increasing the prices. The wild I join the wild spirits. Ah. Peasants coming all the way out here to repair this tower. Good for you, random peasant. This one's a lose. I'm gonna have to do the 50,000 gold thing instead of trying to wipe them out. I assume that would be harder, but it might be that it's not. Some of these enemy elves are way too high level. This is where a level three wizard tower might be nice so I could supercharge the towers. Pull that guy back just a little bit to the wizard tower. You know you want to. Yeah, I don't think this is happening. My units just are not interested in my bounties. Shoot. Advance is quite a bit harder than beginner. Um, I wonder if I can just like heavily fortify my town and just focus on money accrual. I can. game over. Okay, I'm gonna go back to 11 days one more time. Well, actually, I might try 16 days. That was after I did some initial building of other stuff. Maybe get away with building some more dwarven settlements as, or well, the Subalista Towers rather than dwarven settlements. And then after that, just try to save money, I guess. Stop exploring, basically. Build one more wizard tower. Just to try to harass these guys and keep them from coming after me from their base. I think this is the largest group of jerks. Elven jerks, that is. Skeleton, please. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Victory is not in the cards. Hey, thank you, River Yowie. Were you just playing Majesty, or what were you playing today, River? Thanks very much for the raid. And sudden windfalls in money, and I don't know how to reproduce that. 
<laughs> Thanks very much then. Appreciate it. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. Do you play this game regularly? Is it something that's on your schedule temporarily? What what drew you to Majesty? the tower at the north and see the other direction they can come from. And then I'm going to try to just build marketplaces and see if I can survive. Cool. Yeah, this is my first time experiencing with it. I played it for a couple hours a few months ago. I think I prefer it to a lot of the other kind of like RTS adjacent games that I've played. Removing the micro aspect is more interesting to me anyway. They're gonna finish off this tower, aren't they? Folks are around through a river uh, host here. Home some follows. List a tower. We also just want to focus on money now. In the name of the sovereign, tax collector. Mm hmm. You know, we just played another RTS adjacent game called Sacrifice yesterday and last week, uh, which is also kind of similar, where it's it's like an RTS, but. Parts of it have been simplified in a way that works a little bit better with the way my brain works. I just get in the, the mode where I wonder, like, can you make a, you know, competitive PvP designed RTS game have a compelling single player campaign? I feel like a lot of the mechanics that exist to make the multiplayer interesting automatically make the single player frustrating. Uh, but Majesty works. The fact that the maps are randomly generated helps a lot, in my opinion, because it means the devs are basically guaranteeing you that every map is possible, that it's not about just finding where they put the ambush of enemies, Because <laughs> you don't know where that's going to be. I think this doesn't have to go pretty far away, yeah? Some rule about the minimum distance on marketplaces? If I die on this one again, I might need to look up a strategy for it, because wiping out the elves definitely is not viable. Um, Victories not in the cards. Mm hmm. I like that that basically makes it more about developing general strategies that will work on any map, given the mission constraints, as opposed to solve this specific layout, like scout it and then save scum and do something different now that you've scouted it and know where everything is, you know? Regular guard handle a troll. I don't know that adventurers actually produce a significant amount of income in this game. I think the rogues do when they loot stuff, but I don't have a lot of insight to that when it happens. I did that one pretty fast. Gold is generated based on the size of your kingdom and the level of your palace. And the level of your palace. That's an important point that I didn't notice before. Your marketplace now serves you better. So I think I want to rush the level 3 palace then. Let's 
get this research done so we can get level 3 markets. That's interesting. I don't know if I've noticed them build a fountain before. I think it's just like an automatic building. Level 2. Market day. I go broke on this, but just need to get high enough to be able to do this. Seven to twelve heroes. Your marketplace now serves you better. There's no bitch in this. Oh, and it's a tax collector. That's cool. Do the houses generate in a similar way based on other buildings? You just automatically get houses occasionally. Tax collectors don't increase the total amount of money that is being generated by my kingdom, only the flow of money, right? Just a lot of heroes there. <laughs> That's fair. And do the cheapest ones first, I guess. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. I join the wild spirits. And change the minimum pickup drop off settings to alter the flow. That's it. Okay. The only way to increase the maximum amount of gold in your that you're able to generate is via more marketplaces and um your marketplace now serves you better. Possibly by having adventurers go kill things and bring back money. I don't know how, I guess, incestuous the economy is in this game. Like, if your blacksmith sells level 4 weapons and armor and uh, an adventurer buys it, does that money get included in what eventually gets taxed back to the realm? Or is that just an independent... Does that money just disappear from the economy, I guess? Curious. Those are all done, I think, yeah. Six of twelve. Robin, your marketplace now serves you better. They are getting money for killing the rat men, so that's nice. The local blacksmith offers new services. Go, go, local blacksmith. Leave my gold alone. It's probably some percentage of it that goes back in, sure. Your Majesty, the royal treasury is nearly empty. I see that. Sovereign! A building has been upgraded. This is at max level. Giving it more things to stock isn't really relevant. We just want to get it to max level to generate more money. Problem is, I don't know that I'm going to get a level 3 building because of my other issues at the moment. Hi, Ben. So now we have four marketplaces, which is probably the most I'm ever going to be able to handle. The main problem right now is that I'm creating units and then they're just dying before I can use them to upgrade the palace. So the palace might not be my pathway to making money. Um, I only have four days left in the campaign. I might just need to approach this map completely differently. I might need to ignore money and just like rush down 
the enemy elves as quickly as possible. Uh, this one's really tough, though. 50,000 gold is a lot of gold. And there's a few things you can do to spend money to make money, but I think a lot of the stuff I've spent money on so far has resulted in a net cash loss. Part of it might be that some of these elves have gotten really high level by murdering my units. Get the veteran guard, maybe can help a little bit. Your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. This is about where I was on the last 27 days, but with significantly fewer elf kills, yeah. I don't think I'm winning this one. If it was 50 days, maybe, on my previous save. Um, hmm. I started out today thinking I was doing okay. I don't know, honestly, what the shortcut is to making a lot of money really fast in this. I think your, your income flow is pretty restricted in general. Cut it with two days remaining, but there's no fixing this. If I try this map from scratch. Probably would build some defenses as quickly as possible and then just try to like spend nothing. I don't know if trying to rush the um, the level 3 castle is worth it. I guess if I were to do it, instead of having this crazy mix of hero building, we just make a bunch of rogue guilds because rogues are super cheap. And I don't think that anyone really wants to explore other than. Um, your rangers. So yeah, let's restart this one. It's a bummer. It's a lot of time, but it's learning lessons. So hopefully I can uh, figure it out here. Now it's too bad I'm not in a corner this time. <laughs> um, do I have a save from earlier in the first one? 11 days seems too far back, maybe six days. Your Majesty. The royal treasury is oh. nearly empty. Let's start from here. That seems reasonable. Um, okay. So we want to focus as much as possible here on... Uh, ...hero count, so that we can upgrade to the level 3 palace, which affects income. We do need to start making... Okay, we gotta continue doing blacksmith research, because I think that's how we attract dwarves. And dwarves get us the dwarf building, which also gives us ballista towers later on, which are pretty good. Stop the sneaky. Interesting. Majesty, the local blacksmith offers new services. I think we want to focus on defense first since I was really getting harassed last time by these elves. Leave my gold alone. These elves, jeez. Some people's rat men, man, I'll tell you what. Can y'all rat men go fight some of the, the elves for me?
There we go. Wow, they destroyed that rat. <laughs> Good lord. I can't really work on the guardhouses so long as the elves are killing all my peasants. I love these elves. They're like, hey, we want a tribute from you of 50,000 gold, but we're going to murder everyone in your town that's involved in generating revenue. <laughs> like, how do you think this works, guys? No fun at all, you say. Says the, the murderous elf. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. <laughs> I started out wanting to do money, and then I decided to do killing them, and then killing them I just couldn't get my heroes to to book it in time to fight them. Research veteran guards. Equip the tower with an archer. Majesty, the local blacksmith offers new services. Good job, local Sovereign. blacksmith. I'm so proud of you. Upgraded. Blacksmith offers new services. All right, local blacksmith. Got to invite some dwarves here. Your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. A little bit of extra money, please. Your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. Not very well so far, Kiri. Um, still stuck on the same map. I tried doing money, and then I tried doing wiping out the enemy elves, and then I tried doing money, and I just can't seem to do either. So, I'm trying again with money this time. I'm just trying to defend my base as much as humanly possible. Your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. I think the dwarves offer to join. Oh, there we are. Your Highness, the dwarves are offering to move into our domain. Sovereign. Your marketplace now serves you better. That area more or less defended. Oh, really? Is it possible or reasonable then to win the, um, win with money? I ended up finding all of the elf settlements, but it didn't cut it. Like, I found them all. I had, like, a wizard tower string assigned to all of them. Uh, I was turreting down all the elves, but I just could not get my bounty high enough for my soldiers to want to go out and destroy the buildings. It's genuinely tough. That's fair. I 
I join the wild spirits. Guard houses just generate guards occasionally, right? Once they've been built. Versus heroes, just once they're dead, they're dead forever. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Go ballistas. Okay. I'm just trying to get them to leave me alone. What's the best unit to build that's not going to go exploring? I'm just trying to like get to the hero cap to go to a level three palace. I know rogues will loot stuff, but I think they only loot stuff that they know that they can go loot, right? They're cheap though. Try doing rogues. A new building is complete. And they build pretty fast. Upgrading allows heroes to poison their weapons, increase the building hit points. Leave my Ballista Tower alone, Dix. Why are y'all like this? Trying to do the ransom because destroying them I couldn't get to work. So I'm trying to defend the town and then just build a bunch of rogues so I can get palace level three. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Rangers are cheap, but I don't want them exploring because then they just go out and get themselves killed, basically. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. I shouldn't have upgraded the building, that was a mistake. It's kind of a misclick. Your Majesty, the royal treasury is nearly empty. So I gotta get up to 3562, and then I think the level 3 palace improves my gold generation. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. Let us pray. Okay. Hopefully once that's built, I can just start making more marketplaces, maybe. I don't know if that's the best way to go. I don't have a lot of insight into the, like, cash relationship between a marketplace and what your town's able to generate in total, you know? Whether a marketplace generally um, replenishes its gold cost. Yeah, that'd be great, River. Thank you. Your Highness, the palace renovations are finished. 
Fairgrounds are for tournaments, which are a way to like train your units, right? Leave my gold alone. Gold is generated from royal gardens. Gold, your majesty. Trading posts. I thought that was only when you had missions where you had like isolated um, marketplaces. So, what is the? How does the distance matter? Can you explain that mechanic? Did they like bring more gold depending on how far away they have to travel or something? I'll give it a try. So they just, they generate more gold the further they have to travel, basically. Okay, that's a good tip. Thank you. Leave my gold alone. Leave my gold alone. Leave my gold alone. No, I can't stop the rogues from trying to go out into areas I've already uncovered, right? Unless if I completely restarted the map and tried to not explore at all. Girl, it's gonna die here. I don't think I can stop it. Well, I definitely have plenty of level 3 marketplaces, so that's not a problem. Can I put trading posts, posts near each other? As long as they're both far away from my uh, oops, marketplace? Or do they like form a chain with each other? They do their basic uh, bringing gold caravan thing, whether or not they have healing potions. So the healing potions are just an advantage for. Um... Your Majesty, a new building is complete. If there happens to be a hero nearby, they can restock there, right? Your Highness, we've improved the guardhouse. Your Majesty, our new I building is complete. Okay, so they're think of them Your as Majesty, gold generating biz building is complete. Leave gold generating buildings. Alone. And they don't actually the amount of gold they generate is based on how far they anticipate they're gonna have to send the caravan to travel. Now the caravan can still get attacked by enemies, Your Highness, right? We've improved the guardhouse. You just stay up here, Trevor, dude. The building has been upgraded. I feel like it might already be too late for me to win with money, but we'll keep trying. I only have 10 days left. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. Ah. 
It's getting dangerously close to the uh, elves that are over there, but it should be okay. seen any um, trading posts to part yet. I guess I can research just in case it produces. I don't think it produces a building upgrade. It's usually it'll tell you over here if there are building levels. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Majesty, your trading post now offers healing potions. Majesty, your trading post now offers healing potions. Your Healing Highness, potions are we've okay. improved the guardhouse. If I want to keep making money, I can try to keep building um, more trading posts are probably more valuable than Majesty, more marketplaces. Your trading post now offers healing potions. There's one. 852 gold. So just need to do that about 40 more times. <laughs> And we'll be fine. Yikes. Probably takes them a while to pay for themselves, too, huh? Ah. Just need to get the multiplier, basically. Royal Gardens help, too. Yeah, I guess I went to the trouble. That one distance, we don't want them to be far away, if anything. We want them to be close, right? Get that rat, man. Five thirty six, eight fifty two. And hopefully, I can leave them alone now, and maybe I'll be generating enough. We'll see. So, the Royal Gardens, the way they generate money is to just have tax collectors come to them occasionally. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Hopefully seven days is enough for them to at least pay for themselves. of gold income as well. Your Majesty, a new building is complete. Ratman, your dick. I guess they must have killed the peasants that were trying to build that. I think I really only have that guy anyway. Buy trading posts. I guess I should build the guardhouse first in the future. Seven sixty five. It's promising. How does the leash range for city guards work? I assume that they will only travel a certain distance. Yeah, 
Dude. Where's the guard that's supposed to be over here? Your Majesty, our new building is complete. Victory is not in the cards. Fight the rat man! Passing elf. So screwed. Well, the amount of gold I have is kind of promising, I guess. Oh, he was just out of range of the arrow tower on the guardhouse. Oh, that's painful. I maybe could have built that somewhere where he wouldn't hit it from the corner like that. Maybe if I step this back and try to change things. Or build some ballista towers up there maybe might help. So I can build those at a distance, right? Coffers get pretty full, gotcha. You tried, veteran guard. So what happens to the gold when a uh, tax collector gets murdered? Is it just forfeit to the unit that killed it? Can I get it back by then killing that unit? Is nice at least. Sovereign, a building has been upgraded. I don't think we're gonna make it. We got three days left to get 20k gold, but I'm gonna let the clock run out. We got about I don't know 11 minutes left in the episode Your today before we switch games. So house. it could happen. I guess it's spiking a little bit now. When rat men come out of a sewer in a town, does killing them generate gold as well? No fun. Talk them up, Ballista Tower. This might be more possible than I was worried it was a second ago. I think more gold is generating than I'm realizing. Maybe it's the Royal Gardens that are doing that? I guess the strategy gets less good the more of the same building you build, right? Because each additional copy of the building costs more and more over time. I see. Two days left to make 12k. As long as I don't spend anything, and as long as I don't get to kill my caravan. If you kill that caravan, I swear to God. Whew. Oh, really? I thought I upgraded it. Alright, well... I can step back time if we come short of the 50k requirement then, which we might. We got one day left, so it could just pop up and say game over at any second here. Oh, we did it. Oh, phew. Man, I was really worried we were going to end this episode without a win. That was fucking close. Holy shit. Wow. Thank you for the help, River. 
and Giri. Your son is returned to you, Your Highness. Good God. <laughs> we were unable to catch the nefarious elven kidnappers. The new head of the palace guard promises that such an intolerable breach of security We've will never occur stand. again. Well, Rest now. well, my liege. Well. Your family is safe at first the try. Time. Okay, so that saves my game when I do that, right? So if I hit play game, that one should reflect as completed. Elven Treachery, best time 29 days. I know that's right. <laughs> I'll probably wrap there uh, rather than start a mission for just a few minutes. Um, but I'll leave some notes. Future Marstead, uh, obviously check the Majesty text file. You just had a mission that was heavily focused on economy and income generation you tried doing it the combat way first and it didn't go well so for economy probably the most important lesson um, build trading posts far from your base far from where your marketplace is wasn't really clear in how trading posts work before but they basically generate income they generate gold out of nothing and the further away from the market they are the more gold they generate and if they deliver it to a level three marketplace which was a mistake you made um, you had a level 2 marketplace they were delivering to. They bring it to a level 3 marketplace. Uh, it greatly increases the amount of gold that they get. You also want to build guard houses near them and upgrade the guard houses as much as possible to get the arrows and the veteran guards. Um, maybe build some ballistas too. I would almost recommend starting out with that is do some initial exploring, build some trading posts on the edges of your kingdom with guard posts nearby to defend them. In general, I think guard posts are really strong. Um, You've kind of over-focused on heroes in the first four hours, but heroes are an expendable resource. Once they die, they're dead forever, whereas a guardhouse will keep generating guards to protect your town forever. So you really only want heroes to uncover parts of the map and do bounties if you absolutely have to. You don't want to be relying on heroes to defend your town uh, like you did in, in this map. That was a mistake. Um, so I think that's everything. Add that to the text file um, so that future, future you knows what to do with it too. Good luck. We're all counting on you.